name is Brian Forrest. I am an actor in Hollywood. Thank you, thank you. So I have got a lot of day jobs. Yeah, or people call them survival jobs, you know? So for a survival job, it's basically you make just enough money to cover your rent, food, the basics, you know, et cetera. But you have enough time left over to sit alone in your car, surrounded by Taco Bell wrappers and cry about your life choices. Oh God, why didn't I become an accountant? Oh. It's fine, I'm fine, okay? I've got a new mantra that's it's really helping me. Live moss. <laughs> Some of you joined me there, I see. Yes. But see, like actors, they're famous for having these survival jobs, right? Like, so I was prepared for it. When I moved to LA, I of course got a job as, you can say it with me, a blacksmith. <laughs> no, a blacksmith. And some of you are probably thinking, wait, like a blacksmith? Like, well, howdy there, Sandlers. Come right in. Let's get that horsey a new pair of shoes. And you're right. But I'm an actor. I want to be in the entertainment industry. So I was able to find this forge. A forge is like a very flattering term for the Depression era concrete box with no ventilation that we uh, work out of. Yeah. But this forge makes medieval and fantasy weapons and armor for like film and TV and adult parodies of your favorite Hollywood blockbuster. Yeah, yeah. But people don't quite understand exactly what I do there, so I, I get these questions like, oh, Brian, did you get to try on the Mandalorian's helmet? What does Grogu smell like? Does uh, Baby Yoda really like chicken nuggies? Nom, 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 nom. I don't know, Nick. I've never met the puppet or anyone. Look, guys, I am not the person that gets to go to the tropical location with the fancy people and endless free snacks. I'm, I'm the soot-covered goblin hunched over a rusty table at 4.30 in the morning hammering rivets into the crotch armor for LeBron James for Space Jam 2! Thank you. Thank you. Underappreciated. But you know what the worst thing is? They cut that part. So no one will ever see them. My glorious crotch rivets. Speaking of crotches, uh, hang with me. We had to clean the forge because we had this giant client coming in, and so I'm moving this big industrial water barrel and splashed all over my new pants. But my coworkers are frozen, staring at my crotch, and in unison they go, pants! Whoa, got like little white dots appearing out of nowhere. Oh, they're, they're growing. Oh, they're spreading. Oh, my pants are smoking. Why are my pants smoking? Oh, sprinting at me are my giant Viking god of the forge co-workers who dive on me and start ripping off my sulfuric acid-drenched clothing. Mm -hmm. Boots, socks, belt, pants, underwear, wait! Wait. Look, I don't care what you're packing. Nobody wants to be surrounded by your coworkers, full Donald Duck in it. <laughs> so I jump up on a table to get away. Please don't melt my junk off. Please don't melt my junk off. I just learned how to use this thing. <laughs> I'm fine. The acid didn't get to my underwear. Guys, look, look. Behold my unmelted manhood. As my boss walks in. With a movie producer from Marvel Studios. Can I give you my headshot? <laughs> Guys, gonna be real with you, I have been stabbed, burned, crushed, and now acided? I think this survival job's trying to kill me. So my new gig as a merman. Yeah, a merman, it's fantastic. All my coworkers are fish. I have only almost drowned twice, and I will never again have to make a crotch rivet. Thank you, and thank you all for coming out tonight. My name is Brian Forrest. Let me know if you want a headshot.